And with that level up, we finally get to a move that is not Nightshade, it is in fact Astonish. Yeah, I taught Thief as well, just because. But because I've got Nightshade and that set damage, that's probably the most damage that I'm going to do anyway. So I don't really need to get that, um, you know, that desperately. So I'm just going to, you know, remove Leo because, yeah. And now Siren is learning a new move at 14 as well. It seems 14 is a fairly magic level number at the moment. So, Confuse Ray, much better than Spite, of course, it's guaranteed confusion. Confusion itself is a 50% chance for the enemy to hurt themselves, so it's a useful enough move to have around. Yeah, I, n I don't tend to use Confuse Ray that much, but it's nice for the moment accidentally gone to this trainer because I ran too far in the grass when I was trying to train Pokemon. So, whoops, looks like we're going to have to do this one in the training video instead of the normal one. That kind of sucks. Hey, it's a Pokemon that's weak against the uh, rock when I'm using Helios. I'm sort of a little bit hesitant to just go ahead and use Rollout though because Rollout will keep me in and it might actually hurt too much. You know what, let's Psyway first, see how much damage this does. Yeah, it does uh, 7 damage is kind of a lot, really, because that's a 3 hit KO from where we are at the moment and I'm not going to kill Pido in 3 hits. Uh, Helios is not going to be very good whatsoever until I actually get a good amount of levels on it. So yeah, this is my current status of dudes. They're reasonable levels at the moment, but yeah, I, I don't know how good. I think I might have to bench Helios for just now because he's not going to be very useful for quite some time. I, I mean, I looked a little bit into the moveset stuff, and man, it takes forever for him to actually learn a decent move. And I know it's a female one, so I shouldn't be calling it him, but really, it's it's going to be almost impossible to raise Helios at the moment. She literally doesn't learn a good move until 25, and it's only level 10 at the moment. Okay, level 11 now, but... Yeah, that special attack is going to be totally wasted for quite a massive amount of time. And I don't think it's a good idea to use it right now as a result. Yeah, Sturdy's been changed this generation, so you know, so that one hit KO moves. It's not just Guillotine and things like that now, it's any move that would KO in one shot. So it's kind of like the item Focus Sash. does exactly the same thing. And it's freaking annoying. <laughs> but oh well, Norbert gets a level, so it wasn't a complete waste doing this fight here. And that's that's that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna bench Helios just now and just concentrate on everybody else because seriously, he's she's just too much of a liability right now. She's going to die if I try and raise her right now. Guaranteed. Hey guys, this is Game Account realizing that there's a black bar instead of a white bar for it now because the recording thing, it's weird. Why is this not the divisible by four recording thing? Anyway, we are playing Pokemon Black 2, um, not 2 at all, unfortunately. Just Pokemon Black, random Muslot thing. And it seems that this is not the highlights of Windows, so hooray! Yeah, I'm in the daycare at the moment in Route 3. I just figured I would show off the inside because I didn't before, because I'm dumb like that. Uh, yes, it had learned different moves, blah, stuff. I could put Helios in there, because let's face it, Helios is not going to be useful for a while. But that means I'd then have to come back and get it when I wanted, and it would cost money and well money's not the issue really but it would just be annoying so I'm not going to anyway as you will have um, known from the pre video training -y stuff again 
kind of um, kind of did one of the trainers here already, but the rest of them I haven't. And that's a typical thing to happen to me here as a Blitzel comes out when I'm using freaking Norbert as my Pokemon here. That sucks. So I obviously want to switch out, and I think I can take it with um, Wisp over here. You can see the levels I trained up to is roughly 16. I mean, I need to go further for the next gym, but the next gym is not immediate, so... Oh, Shockwave. Wow. I forgot they learned that so early. Is that... That doesn't do very much to Wisp, though, because Wisp is boss, so... Yeah. Do you have an item on you, I wonder? That would be really interesting if it did. If it, like, has an Oran Berry or something because it's a school kid, that would be really interesting. No, it doesn't. Or if it does, then I couldn't take it, so too bad. Charge! Charge is a move to increase your special defense, and it also doubles the um, doubles the damage of the electric attack that you use in the next turn. So it's kind of pointless, because a one-stage special defense raise is not that good, to be completely honest. But it is, you know, it's going to do a lot of damage here. If it gets a crit, that's going to be dangerous. But it doesn't, so yeah. I think if it did get a crit, that would actually KO, but to be honest, nobody else could take it as well as Wisp over here. So yeah. But my idea, of course, is I want to get Norbert up a couple of levels as well, because you know, if um, Spider Pig can evolve, then Norbert can evolve as well. Uh, there's more water over here, I'm gonna have to remember that if I can access it later. I always found, you know, the the one thing that's funny with the black and white sprites is if you see the, the girl here has actually got glasses on in the overworld sprite there. But because of the whole perspective and you know, the fact that they don't look like fully rimmed glasses, they've only got the under rim thing, it looks more like a mask to me than a, a set of you know, actual pair of glasses, which is pretty funny to be honest. Um, anyhow, what is... Not quite so funny as freaking Wubat over here. It's the obviously the Zubat of this generation. It's a psychic and flying type though instead of poison. So ah, he sneeze. God dang it! And still recovering from stuff at the moment. It has assurance. Why does it have assurance? That's a dark attack. It's completely pointless. God dang it! You're yeah, just like worthless. And then Gust is a special attack since uh, Gen 4. So, yeah. It actually has an okay special attack. It's really fast. An okay special attack, and it's very, very fragile. So, it's... It's tolerable, but probably not going to live long enough in the main game. So, yeah. Yes, I can access water, so I am going to have to come back here later. Are you a trainer as well? Yes, you are. You're just a trainer that decides to walk around, which is completely not... How trainers work. You're supposed to be a mobile, obviously. Yes, every trainer has a disability in Pokemon, surely. No, that's that's not very nice. I shouldn't say stuff like that. Oh well, I did, sorry. But yeah, it's it's funny in a way that the trainer, this particular one, walks around like a normal, you know, NPC does. The normal ones in towns and stuff. I'm getting a little bit low on health here, but I can survive anything except like a crit, so... In fact, I could probably now survive a crit as well, so... I'm not really too worried at the moment. Hey, Razor Shell! Oh, that's a really nice move. Um, Razor Shell is a physical attack, but it's got a pretty big 75 base power. Okay, the accuracy is annoying, but it also has a very high chance of lowering defense. It's about 50%, I believe. It's the same as uh, Rock Smash. So that's a very good move to have just now. And I'm definitely getting rid of Tail Whip for that. Because, come on, Tail Whip just lowers defense. This thing does a lot of damage and lowers defense. I don't think there's much of a competition here. Razor Shell might work on my lower offense, but... And again, my offensive stats are quite balanced at the moment. So let's just go ahead and test it out. Assist, that's going to possibly draw a bite, which might hurt. It draws Leer. Hmm. That's not exactly going to help you all that much, Mr. Miss Perloin, but hey, 
That's raise your shell for you. It's a new fifth gen move, and it is brutal when it hits. Seriously, it hits most of the time, obviously, because 95% accuracy. But it is freaking brutal for this stage of the game. And at level 17, Norbert evolves as well. I don't know about Snivy whether that evolves at that level or not, because I've never used one. Because it's kind of terrible. I'm sorry to all the Snivy fans out there, but that line is kind of terrible. Unless you're playing Gen... No, the, not, not next Gen, sort of the next uh, game in the series, or the sequel stuff, then it might actually be somewhat useful. But until then, it's kind of very, very bad. Anyway, we have ourselves a Duod now, so that's kind of cool. No longer looks like a clown, that's pretty awesome, and I accidentally fought him before, so that's everything on this route so far. Not much else to say. What do you have to say? Potions are indeed important for a trip, however I'm not buying very many because that's what I'm like. So I'll just very quickly heal up and we shall explore this city and talk to everyone, so yeah. One thing I forgot to show what you can do with the sea gear over here is you can actually go ahead and change the type of your um, of your thing. By clicking on the gear you can actually change how the visuals look on this thing. Which is pretty cool and I do like the stars. So the other one you can do is if you have if you press options you can change the change the stars to mean something else. So you can go ahead and disable stuff and yeah, because essentially what happens is that um, if you click on a star, what it, you know, normally what it does is it will take you to the corresponding infrared online, which is game sync basically, and wireless sort of modes. And the way that Desmarais works is actually if I click over here as well, you can see it actually changes it over this way too. So it's kind of a little bit annoying at times and what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm going to end up changing this a fair bit so that it doesn't actually get in the way nearly so much. So yeah, just disable some of them and that's that. Anywho, let's talk to people and see what goes on. Um, yes, I do know about a Pokemon called Ordino. It's one that appears in Shaking Grass, but not when I have a code on. You do indeed get a lot of experience. This game is so meta. Why do you get so much experience from that? Actually, somebody in Black 2 asked about that too. It's kind of hilarious. And yeah, learning many things in that blah. Fossils, Twist Mountain. Hey. Yes. People donate stuff. Um, do you have anything different, actually? You have netballs, which might be useful. Um, I don't have money to buy them with at the moment, but netballs, yeah, you could see what they do. They, they're they good against water and bug types, so they could be useful. In a random Nuzlocke, they're probably useful because you're probably going to come across quite a few water types, but it's a bit difficult to say for sure, so I'm not going to spend money. You cannot go through doors in this place, apparently, only ones which are already open. So, you, you are Loblolly? What kind of name is Love Lolly? <laughs> okay, yeah, card court of a design, blah blah blah, up here in the dream, well, nuts to you, I don't care about that, but what the hell kind of name is Lob Lolly? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yes, Pokemon, if you get some uh, Pokemon from a trade somewhere else, then you are going to get a lot more experience, however, that's where the whole X number of badges equals Pokemon level stuff thing. Right, you what is very friendly, yes. It's pretty awesome like that. Um, I don't have a cotton tea at all. Yeah, there are several in-game trades you can do as well, but obviously I won't be able to do any of them because I kind of won't have the Pokemon to do so. You can also go up here apparently. That does absolutely nothing for me, but whatever. Textile factories. Oh, so that's what this place was. Fair enough. So this is according to that person, the City of Art. I don't know how artistic it is really to um, use old storehouses and stuff as whatever, but music thing, does that increase the song? No it doesn't, too bad. 
Yes, different Pokemon can have different natures. I've explained basically what natures do, so that's fine. They but they increase some stats, they decrease others. That's that. You will never get one that increases or decreases HP, however. That's um that's kind of interesting. Uh, up there is the gym, but I won't be going there for a fair while because I don't exactly have the Pokemon to do that yet because this this gym is kind of a little bit more difficult so yeah well I mean I have one that I can use but not strong enough yet Hi, you know, the, I need to train a bit more for that and yeah they are selling stuff in the warehouse let's go and check it out what do they got die hit um, yeah basically it's focus energy in an item never gonna use it anyway starting shops what have you got to sell you have got Battle items, and that's basically it. Well, nuts to you, I don't care about your battle items. What what do you guys have to say? Uh, training Pokemon, holding blah, yep. Communications, yep. And the best thing about this is that you can trade Pokemon... You can trade with people using infrared, no matter where you are. You can trade in caves and stuff now as well, and you can trade from your boxes. It's really amazing how trading works in this game, and it's much... You know, League's better than any of the other ones. Castelia City, yeah, that's that's a place that we'll be going to later. It's Pokédex, yep. Uh, which Pokémon did we choose? We chose Tepe, obviously. So we get an item called Charcoal. Now, it doesn't matter which one you actually have here, you will get these items later, so I'll get a duplicate Charcoal. But as she said there, the Charcoal will raise the power of Fire-type moves. And it will raise it by 20%, so yeah, it's kind of useful like that. So let's go ahead and find the item, it's up here. That's what I like about this for, um, Black and White 1 instead of Black and White 2, is Black and White 1, if you get a new item, it goes to the top of your list. In Black and White 2, if you get a new item, it actually goes to the bottom of the list, and I don't like that. I don't think there's a way of changing it either, so yeah. But anyway, now Spider Pig will have an item, and it will raise the power of my fire type attacks by 20%, as I think I said, obviously. Um, you can talk to TVs as well and get some interesting stuff from that. Uh, moves for Living, we will learn about Foul Play. This is a really interesting move, actually, and I like this a lot. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dr. Technic Al- oh my god, wow. Casilla University, wow, they have a university over there? I suppose um, Dr. Al Machine. <laughs> uh, foul Play is... Yeah, it's a move that has 95 base power. It's a dart type attack, obviously. But it actually plays on the opponent's physical attack instead of your own. Which is really neat, and I, I kind of like that. Um, I don't think this is really teaching kids a good life lesson here. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. So that's a, that's an example of what the TV does. Um, if we go over here, actually, you can see there's an item there, but we have no way of getting it. I don't know if there's a hidden item over here at all. I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm not going to search every little point there because that would take forever. So let's just go ahead and go. Oh, yes, you. You're the music guy here. Is it proximity based? Yes, it's proximity based, so you can only actually listen to the extra music there when you get close to the dude. So I might I might go back and talk to him again in a sec. Cafe Warehouse, yeah, that's that's kind of awesome sounding. So yeah, it doesn't matter if it's real blah stuff. I don't know I don't think anybody gives you anything here, but whatever. Battle box, I think it's a registrable thing that you can put you know, the Pokemon that you commonly use in something like that. Uh, prepares water, pours hot water, blah, blah, yeah, they, they combine to make tea. That is their superhuman power, is that they the three of them combine to make the best tea. Yes, that's truly the greatest superpower of all. Well, it would be if I was more English, it would be, but I'm not English at all, so yeah. Use items of Wonder Launcher, yeah, don't really need to care about that. I can't actually talk to the waitress there despite wanting to because these chairs are solid objects you cannot walk onto chairs apparently that sucks so what else is there really to do I guess I mean I could sort of explore the gym bit and this happens 
because yeah, and this here wants to see things nobody can see, blah blah blah, ideals of Pokemon, future, perfect stuff. Yeah, kind of. Uh, yes. So, a battle with end, which I wasn't actually remembering and that happened. Oh well. Doesn't matter, he has different Pokemon every time that you fight him. He's kind of weird like that. We'll find out why later. But I have Norbert over here. He's level 17. He's pretty damn boss if you ask me. And P-Dove has quick attacks. Screw you, P-Dove. You and your freaking quick attacks. Well, it doesn't make any difference anyway because Razor Shell is not going to one shot. Wow, really? I was convinced that Razor Shell was going to one hit kill there because yeah, I guess some um, Norbert's attack stat is not quite as strong as I thought, but even so, that's 75 base power plus stop. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, type hole. It's a water type, obviously. We'll see. Well, there, 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 there. Can't talk properly. Apparently, like the remnants of cold stuff is still kind of getting to me a bit here. And uh, we'll see a lot more of this line later. Ah, uh, supersonic. Gah, I hate confusion so much. <laughs> because seriously, yeah, sniffle, whatever. Confusion is annoying. Don't hit yourself, please. Damn it. It's reverse psychology, isn't it? It's like, don't hit yourself, so it does that. Ah, and then it growls and cuts my attack, and it's going to take forever. You know what? I'm just switching out. This is not going to work. I said switching out, game. I didn't click on the fight thing. I am going to switch in to Wisp, I think. I should ideally switch into Elvis, but Elvis is not going to be a party member anyway, so I should probably bench him. If it wasn't for the fact of it... Oh, wow. Bubble Beam? Really? That's a fairly powerful move for that. Ow! And it got the speed drop. Wow, that's only a 10% chance to get a speed drop and a 6.5% chance to get a crit. Wow, that sucks. Um, anyway, Bubble Beam I should have disabled, but I didn't know it was going to Bubble Beam, so... Wow, this guy is actually kicking my ass here. <laughs> Time Pole isn't really the strongest of Pokemon usually, but it seems to be quite strong for this stage of the game. So, that sucks. I almost died there. That is terrible, and he's got one more Pokemon, so of course I've got to switch out now as well. But, jeez, that is terrible. And it's typical that I have to switch out on a Timber too, because that would actually be really good to fight with Duskull, but whatever. It doesn't obviously have Pursuit, because it can't have Pursuit, so I'm just going to switch out into Siren and kill it with that, because why not? So it'll have Focus Energy, it'll have a Fighting Attack, it might have Rock Throw, so I'm not entirely safe here, but let's go ahead and use Confuse Ray ourselves, because I am also a dick, apparently, who uses Confusion too. Yeah, Pot Call and Kettle Black, etc. But whatever, it's Confuse Ray is a move that I have, so I'm entitled to use it, damn it. And hey, he hit himself too. Timber is a very powerful Pokemon, a lot of you know high physical attack here, so it is a bit difficult sometimes to fight. Let's be an absolute ass here and go for the flinch plus confusion thing and it snapped out of confusion, so whatever. Yeah, I don't think it has a move that can hurt me. Otherwise it would have probably used it by now. Uh Psywave is likely to do more damage, but it's also likely to miss. So let's just go with the flinch chance here. Might use Sidewave next turn just to try and finish it off. There we go, got the flinch. And now hopefully Sidewave can take it out from here. Nope, because it dodged it. Dang it. Stupid freaking timber. It's only 80% accuracy though. I really don't like Sidewave. It's a terrible, terrible attack. I mean, it's not only can it do low damage as well, but it also doesn't hit very often. What? And it still didn't, it didn't even finish it. See how bad freaking Psywave is. It didn't even finish the guy. That's ridiculous. But whatever, we have finished it now. That's the important thing. Siren, one good thing about her is that she does not take very much experience to level up. The, um, every Pokemon has one set sort of experience like level it takes. Like the starters take one 
and an F it's like one million fifty four thousand etc something like that to reach level 100 some Pokemon take one million some take one and a quarter some only take six hundred thousand but they take forever to level up at the start of the game so that sucks the dude basically is like yeah we need power to make people believe me that sort of is weird but yeah uh, what else is there to say about that? Nothing really, but yeah, um, Siren only takes 800,000 to get to level 100, and that's consistently pretty low, so it's easy enough to level her up. Anyway, this is the Narcene Gym, an archaeologist with backbone. Ugh, so terrible. Um, I'm not going to go in there now, though. I just, I guess I wanted to get the fight done, even though I forgot about it. I am going to briefly heal again, and I'm then going to go into the next route and catch another Pokemon. Because that seems to be the running trend here, is that I get one Pokemon per video, right? So, that's that's kind of how it's going at the moment. So let me just quickly do that. Okay, and we are in Pinwheel Forest, and it looks like I'm going to have to do a battle as well. I wasn't hoping that... You know, I wasn't expecting that to be the case, but whatever, let's switch out to Wisp over here, and I will not have to do a battle. Huh, okay then, fair enough, let's not bother with that. Uh, yes, our Pokemon are getting stronger indeed. We get the TM known as Rock Smash, which is quite useful for just now. It's only 40 base power, but yeah, as she said there, it's super effective against normal types, which is what Lenora likes to use. I will go ahead and teach that later, but since I don't have to have Wisp out first, Siren's the better bet, because Siren is faster, so if I want to run away from Pokemon, then that happens, you know, to be easier. This person here will heal your Pokemon if you defeat her in a battle first. And there was an item that I noticed before, so Aether is something we can pick up. Aethers will restore the power points of Pokemon, so that's useful. But, maybe not for just now. So, let's see what Pokemon we are going to get. It's not you, you're an evolution, I can't catch you. Level 15, wow. Um, Pokemon here are a lot stronger than I expected them to be, wow. Oh, bugger, it's got faint attack. I didn't even know that. Ow, 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 ow. Get the hell out of there. It's got faint attack. That's not good. Ow. <laughs> I don't need, I don't know all of the movesets of all of the Pokemon ever. Oh, God, it's got Rock Blast, too. That actually is going to hurt. Ow, Crustal. It's not a Pokemon that's easy to fight. Yikes, um, screw it, I'm running away from that, it would be good experience, but, ow! It's a Tangler! Oh, wow! Okay, that's actually really awesome! Tangler is a Pokemon which does evolve, it evolves by using Ancient Power, I think, but it's, wow! Tangler's got a really good physical defense, so that's one interesting thing in its favor. And, well, I've never ever used one. It's slow as all hell, I know that much, and its special defense is kind of terrible, but it's pretty good at just about everything else. So, it, oh god, and it's got growth as well. Uh, that might actually hurt. I need to get this thing caught fairly quickly, I think, but what I'm going to want to do to do that is to get it paralyzed. So, Lick is the obvious thing to do. Grass types are really nice because they've got lots of status inflicting moves normally, so Stun Spore, Sleep Powders, that sort of thing. Uh, sleep Powder right there, it's actually obnoxious, god damn it. It's already got Sleep Powder and it's only level 14, that's actually really good. Not when I'm trying to catch it, especially not when it's faster than me. Thank you, hitting yourself. But, yeah, I'm hoping that this is not going to be a very long sleep, because seriously, that's a long confusion though, four turns, jeez. Hit itself in two, that's fairly good. I'm worried about its plus one attack stats at the moment, no, that is a potential danger for me. It did take literally no damage from that move there, so I'm going to switch out to Wisp, I guess. It's not going to be confused when it gets another attack. Confusion lasts for a maximum of four turns, 
So, Wisp having pretty good defenses here, I'm going to hopefully not... Don't... Yes, thank you. 75% accuracy on Sleep Powder does actually help me here. And you know what? I am going to make sure that thing cannot Sleep Powder me again. I am disabling that move, because god damn it, that is annoying. So yeah, Sleep Powder is not going to be an issue now. Plus two growth, you know, stats on the other hand may well be an issue. So yeah, I need to get this thing down and fast. I think Tangler is fairly hard to catch though, so... Um, I don't want to risk another Nightshade, but I know Astonish is not going to kill because it's got beast physical defense and I have no physical attack. So yeah, it's going to take a lot to get this down. But Power Flinching, decent enough strategy to do here, so I'm not too worried. Yep. Okay, this is no longer disabled. Can I... No, because I would then disable growth, and that's not what I want. Uh, let's go for the heal ball, actually, because why not? It's It would be an interesting thing if it worked. So, what? Well, yeah. I've got, I mean, I've got in my party a space, but it breaks out, so yeah. Constrict. Constrict is a normal attack, so it can't actually hit me with that. Hooray! Uh, let's just go with more heal balls, because honestly, as a Pokeball, you know, level item, it's not that good anyway. So if I don't get to catch it in one, if, it, if I've run out of them, then fair enough. Oh, you troll face! Just about! Oh no. Well, if it has a grass attack, then I might be worried, but if all it's got is constraint, then I'm really not concerned at all. In fact, I'll be the complete opposite, because that's going to be annoying to train then. But, we'll work out something. So, you're not going to be captured in the heal ball. Well, too bad. I was trying to be nice to you, and you just decided not to be nice back to me. So, sucks to be you. Uh, let's just get rid of the stupid balls here. The Premier Ball is the next one. I mean, if I could catch it in a Premier Ball, that would be awesome. But, it's not essential. Oh, go on. Oh yeah, I caught it in a Premier Ball. Hells yeah, Premier Balls look cool, so... It's the same level as a Pokeball, so basically it just took four Pokeballs. But yeah, we got ourselves a Tangler. Again, I have never used one of these before, so I have no idea what I'm going to call it. <laughs> yeah. It's blue. It's kind of cool. It's known to be ticklish. Well, good for it. Just now, you know, I'm going to go with a completely stupid name uh, just now and call it Mattress because, yeah, it's tangly vines. I don't know. I just I just want to call it something stupid. So it's going to be called Mattress just now. Again, if anybody's got a better name than that, then when I can change names, I will consider it. But yeah, what is... Uh, you've got 43 HP. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. It's Timmy. That's actually pretty good. Timid low and it's got chlorophyll. Oh wow, that really is good. Um, Timid lowers its um, a, you know, physical attack and it raises its speed. Now Tangler itself doesn't have a good physical attack. The Evolution has a relatively good physical attack, but Tang Tangela itself does not. And its speed is somewhat okay. It's going to get slower when it evolves, ironically. But its speed is kind of alright. So you know what? I'm pretty okay with that as a nature. So long as I keep this thing away from special attacks, because you can see the humongous difference in physical and special defense there. If I can keep it away from special attacks, this thing is going to be very, very good. And I, and I now have a um, I now have a sleeping move in my party, so I can catch stuff easier too. The only thing that it needs now is a stronger attack, because Absorb is not very strong. It did have Absorb though, so that plus three, you know, growth thing could have been a bit dangerous. But yeah, Tangela, that's awesome. So now I have been recording for half an hour, so I am going to go back to the center, I'm going to heal up, and then I'm probably going to do another sort of training thing again, because I've now got another Pokemon, and I also need to raise my levels for the gym and stuff. So yeah, next time on Pokemon Black, we are going to probably take on the gym. 
unless it's not available, but I think this is one that the gym you can do first. So, yeah, we'll take on the gym next time, I think. So, yeah, Game of Cow, Pokemon Black, got the Tangler. Pretty cool. See you guys next time.